welcome to Virology Research Services, where we decode science and provide innovative solutions. Hello everyone, and welcome back. In our last video, we explored the reed muench method, a classic approach for calculating the TCID-50. Just a quick recap. TCID-50 stands for Tissue Culture Infectious Dose 50% which is the amount of virus required to infect 50% of the cells in a culture. It is used to determine the infectious dose of a virus stock. Today, we're focusing on the Spearman-Kerber method. This method streamlines the process, eliminating the need for interpolation, which can sometimes complicate calculations. Like the reed muench method, we begin with various virus dilutions inoculated into cell cultures, as we see here, with our 96 well plate. The clear wells indicate infection, while the purple wells show no infection. To better understand, please check out our video on how to perform a TCID 50 assay. Unlike the Reed Munch method, which calculates cumulative percentages of infected wells at each dilution to determine where the infection crosses the 50% threshold, the Spearman Kerber method takes a different approach. It directly evaluates the infection rates at each individual dilution without relying on cumulative percentages. This method does not require adding up the infected wells from the lowest dilution to the highest to see how they cumulatively affect a proportion of the total population. spearman carber uses a straightforward computational formula that directly considers the infected wells at each dilution without requiring interpolation between doses. In this equation, to calculate the logarithm of the infectious dose required to cause a cytopathic effect in 50% of wells, we take the logarithm of the highest dilution, yielding 100% CPE. The use of the logarithm here places the dilution scale on a logarithmic basis, making it easier to manage exponentially varying dilutions. We then add 0.5 to our calculation. This constant helps ensure our estimate accurately reflects the middle value, where 50% of the data points are above and 50% are below. In the final part of the equation, we subtract the ratio of wells showing infection to the total wells tested at each dilution. This helps accurately pinpoint where the virus infects half of the well population. So let's return to our 96 well plate and use the spearman kerber method to calculate the TCID-50. First, we need to identify the highest dilution at which all the wells are infected. In our example, this dilution is 10 to the minus 1. Next, we count the total number of wells in the plate that show infection. For our case, we have 54 wells showing infection. Now let's consider how many wells we have per dilution. In this setup, we have 12 wells for each dilution. Finally, using the appropriate formula, we calculate the logarithm of the infectious dose 50. With our data, this produce a log TCID 50 of 5. So we've determined that the log TCID 50 is minus 5. However, we want to express this as TCID 50 per milliliter. To achieve this, we follow two steps. First, we calculate the antilog, base 10, of the log TCID 50 value. To express this as the dilution factor where 50% of the wells are infected, we represent it as 1 in 100,000. Next, we need to express this per milliliter. For this, we must adjust based on the volume of virus that we inoculated into each well. In our case, this volume was 25 microliter, which is 0.025 milliliters. From this, we calculate a TCID 50 per milliliter of 4 times 10 to the 6. This result is similar to that obtained using the reed muench method, which you can see in our other video. We hope you found this explanation helpful. Best of luck with your TCID 50 calculations and see you in the next video.